Hello, I'm Steve Waterworth, Technical Marketing Manager at Weaveworks. In this video, I'll introduce trusted application delivery with policy as code. Building better code faster is one of the main drivers of digital transformation. How is it possible to achieve rapid software delivery and minimize risk? The quest for accelerating software delivery pipelines and the introduction of increased automation brings with it some risk. Immediate delivery of new features and fixes brings significant benefits. The risk is that any misconfiguration is also immediately deployed. To mitigate that risk, guardrails in the form of policies can be utilized to perform automatic checks at multiple points in the delivery pipeline. This example of a simple pipeline shows a DevOps engineer issuing a pull request to deploy a new application. This will consist of numerous Kubernetes manifest YAML files. Even though the pull request will go through peer review for approval, humans are fallible and misconfigurations are easily overlooked. The changes are merged into the monitored branch and immediately deployed to Kubernetes clusters, potentially causing problems. Policy guardrails can protect against misconfiguration in three main areas. Security, for example, checking that containers only come from approved registries, that they are not running as root or in privilege mode. Resilience, checking that the health probes are defined, resource limits are set, and that there are a minimum number of replicas defined. Coding standards. Each enterprise has their own standards for labeling and annotating Kubernetes entities. Custom policies can be defined to assure that these standards are adhered to. Looking at the simple pipeline again, policy checks are enforced when the pull request is created, flagging up any violations. Checks are also performed when the manifests are applied to Kubernetes. Entities with violations cannot be created. Policy enforcement ensures that the Kubernetes cluster remains secure and stable. Trusted delivery with GitOps brings many benefits to your organization. There is nothing new for your DevOps engineers to do. Everything is driven by their normal Git workflows. Configuration is automatically checked for policy compliance on commit or pull request creation. There are over 100 predefined policies covering many industry standards. These are built on the Open Policy Agent standard using the Rego language. It's easy to add your own custom policies using the built-in Rego playground to validate your code. Trusted delivery with GitOps enhances security and aids conformance to industry regulations with audit reporting and breach alerts. The Kubernetes Policy Administration Controller prevents manifests with violations from being applied. The GitOps workflow eliminates the need for direct cluster access and guarantees that a known configuration is applied. Configuration drift is eliminated with GitOps constant reconciliation. There are many ways a small configuration error can reduce the resilience and reliability of an application. Automatic policy enforcement blocks all common misconfigurations, significantly improving application stability. Organizations have their own standard for labeling and annotating Kubernetes entities for auditing and maintenance. Custom policies can check that the required keys and values are present. Let's see it in action. This is the home screen of the Magalix dashboard. This provides a high-level overview of policy violations across all reporting clusters. Selecting a cluster shows more details for policy violations on that cluster. Maglix comes with a library of over a hundred pre-built policies applicable across many industry standards, such as SOC 2, GDPR and PCI. KubeGuard is the active component of Magalix. It integrates with Git providers and implements an admission controller for Kubernetes. This enforces the guardrails at commit or pull request submission, as well as providing a hard backstop to prevent direct manifest application. For the demo, the KubeGuard instance has just one policy associated, which requires a minimum replica count of two. Looking at the policy definition shows that it contains help text for guidance as well as the policy rule itself. 
The rules engine is built on the open standard Rego. I have already used GitOps to deploy my simple application with a policy-friendly replica count of two. Using Lens to inspect Kubernetes, I can see my two pods are running. Now I'll edit the manifest in Git and set the replica count to a policy busting one. Rather than create a pull request, I'm going to try and beat the system by merging straight into main. KubeGuard is called via a GitHub action, and sure enough, it fails because of the policy violation. The action details show what the violation is. Because it's an easy policy to fix, the action creates a pull request with a suggested fix. Looking at the change files shows that it bumped the replica count back up to a compliant 2. Looking at Lens shows that there are two replicas running, but I merged my change straight into main. Surely GitOps should have applied that change immediately. Yes, it did, but the KubeGuard admission controller prevented that change. At the terminal, checking the status of the pod info application shows that GitOps did attempt to apply the change that I tried to sneak through. However, KubeGuard did its job and blocked the change. Back at the pull request, I'll edit the deployment manifest and bump the replica count right up to 4. Once again, the action runs, but this time it passes because 4 is greater than 2. Finally, I'll merge the pull request into main. Back in Lens, the change is applied by GitOps and there are now four pods running as desired. Thank you for watching. Find out more about Weave GitOps and download a copy of GitOps Core for free. Sign up for a time limited trial of Magalix. Hands on workshops are held regularly. Go to the events page and sign up to join in.